All right, I want to go flying. I'm here at the uh, Sky Vantage offices, and uh, I'm gonna bug Mr. Jason. Hey, you guys. <laughs> what you doing? It's kind of awkward. I'm watching your videos. <laughs> what? I'm watching old videos. <laughs> <laughs> what crazy timing! That wasn't planned. That ha, really, ha, ha. That, that really wasn't actually, was it? Was it? What's it doing there? Hey, Jason. Hey. I have an idea. What's up? So I'm gonna go flying. Can I go see the the weird tree from your way way back video? Oh, is that the one you're watching? I want to see the tree. I've never been, or I'd at least like to see it from the sky. I probably have passed it. This weird thing. Oh, desert art. Okay. Um, I have an idea. What's your idea? Let's go find some cool stuff in the desert. People leave stuff in the desert all the time. And it's Utah, lots of artsy people. And dorky people, and weird yeah. people. Nice. Off the grid folk. All right, let's go flying! Let's go flying! Let's go flying. Boom! Oh, hey guys, Corey Robin here with Jason! Hey Jason guys. Williams! So, we are here flying across the West Desert in Utah. We are going to do a geocache and look at cool things, weird things, and stuff and things that people have done. When they get the, bored in the desert. Yeah, when they get bored in the desert. So, the first location is supposedly is this uh, Jeep monument. So. What I think that has been done is people really like their Jeeps. They just love their Jeeps. So they made this little monument out in this ATV, four-wheel drive, UTV area. Super fun spot for shenanigans. And so we're going to go look at this monument. Hopefully uh, there's something there. Because if there isn't, that's a bummer. But we're going to put put a geocache there anyway. It's going to be fun. Here we go. I'm going to catch some heat for this, but... Uh... I've owned two Jeeps, and uh, I've never had a Jeep that worked. <laughs> oh, I, shoot. I've had electrical issues. I've had gas issues. I've never had a functional gas gauge in a Jeep. Wow. So, yeah, go ahead and throw hay my way, but uh, I would rather ride a bicycle. <laughs> 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 All right, we made it! Did we make it? We made it! <laughs> All right, so this is Utah's Jeep Memorial. As you can see, the Jeep grills. This is actually a really cool spot. Way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Turns out I didn't know the history, I just kind of found this on Google Maps. But this is actually a Vietnam POW War Memorial. So this is actually a really cool spot. So Jason and I are gonna take a look around and we'd like to show it to you. We'll put the GPS coordinates and a uh, link in the description below so that if you're a Jeep enthusiast and you wanna come check out the location, come do it. And what are we doing? We're sweetening the deal. Sweetening the deal. Let me grab the camera and get a little closer. Here we go. All right, we're sweetening the deal. I like the sound of that. What are we doing? Sweet the deal, bro. We're we're giving away free stuff, swaggy stuff, swaggerific, swagtastic. Okay, are we gonna set it here? Uh. Okay. I'm gonna hide it here somewhere. I think you should hang it up there, like from from the crossbar. From like yeah, right here, like in the shady area, the like afternoon sun. Like if you hung it from here, yeah, the afternoon sun won't get it too bad. But, so Jason has made a geocache for us and to leave it. here, and he and he dropped it. What a loser! I mean, <laughs> come on! <laughs> what the heck, dude? So anyway, J Jason's made put a, a few 
awesome items in here. If you decide to come fly out here and get it, it's yours. There's some stickers, there's a t-shirt. There's a bag of grip lock ties. There's a bag of grip lock ties because grip lock ties are the bomb. So, yeah. It's hidden. Good luck finding it. <laughs> Let's put it up here on this one so it doesn't fall because of the wind. Here, take the camera. Take I can take this camera. Take the camera, here we go. Take it, take it. I know I'm still in your thunder a little, but I wanted it to be on this nail because it's a little more pinchy. Yeah, it won't fall as easy. Here. These grip lock tires, ties are grippy. Okay, right there is good, right? I like it. So whoever finds this can find a bag of grip lock ties, which my buddy Creighton King, one of the flying cowboys, brother in arms, owns Inventor, awesome company, support grip lock ties because they're amazing. And uh, come on out to Jeep Memorial here in uh, right along I-80 in Utah. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. And the Gippus? And the GPS coordinates. <laughs> well, it's actually really cool. Let's check it out. It's very cool. I hear F-35 lightnings. So one thing you should note if you're gonna fly your airplane out here to the Jeep Memorial is we're right on the edge of a restricted airspace, which is almost always hot because they're lightning training out here. It's the F-35. Do they call it something else besides lightning as well? I think there's some guys that call it other things, but... I think it's the JSF? Yeah, something like that. But anyway, from Hill Air Force Base, they're out here practicing. So if you're going to come see this awesome thing, make sure you're aware of the airspace that's on both the north and the south of here. Watch that. Let's check this out. Desert Fox. And yeah, Desert Fox too. Let's cut all these Jeep girls, it's pretty awesome. I like the pink one. You like the pink girl? I like the pink one. Oh, these guys were just here, 12121. Here's a geocache right here, should we check it out? Are you serious? Yeah, there's a Ziploc bag with something in it. You've been ducked. Oh, it's, I've seen people do this. There's a kind of a Jeep community thing where if they see a Jeep that they like, they have a duck with them and then they put it on the Jeep and put a little note in the windshield so you see it. It's kind of a cool thing I've seen. Oh, I never cool. had anybody Jeep do duck my Jeep because my Jeep was ugly, both of them. <laughs> and uh, didn't take any of them anywhere fun. So maybe that's on me. Maybe that's why I don't like my Jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't love them? <laughs> I, the only thing I liked about my Jeep was parking it. It was like parking a skateboard. It, you could just turn around in a spot, no problem. <laughs> Alright, so we're not going to be stealing the duck because it's part of a Jeep thing. This whole thing is a Jeep thing. I do love the, the piston the rod. <laughs> That's pretty rad. Calvin Harkness, he's actually famous. I've, I've heard his story before. I think he's the, the Weber Dairy guy, no? Yeah. Yeah, we got a Michigan plate. Do you know? Mississippi. Mostly Utah. Missouri. There's some Wyoming. You got some Missouri. Missouri over here. Illinois. Mm -hmm. Hawaii. Hawaii. Now that's a drive. <laughs> right. Definitely need a snorkel on your Jeep for that one. Ooh, here comes a train. Train! Chug a lug a choo choo train.
So we just made it to, what's this called? Wood something? Wood Cove. Wood Cove. It, honestly, it just looks like a bunch of people putting a bunch of junk in the desert. Well, but we're gonna check it out. What is that, like an old? Like a gas can? Yeah, kind of tape. A plane. Kind of tapers at the top, so it's it might be an old drop tank. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's a sign that says Wood Cove somewhere. Tires up top. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, find all the Wood Cove hidden secrets. Here's a bra. The lost tribe of the wet the fugawi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever that means. Okay, we got uh, got stuff. It's lots of stuff, and lots of things. Watch your step, because there might be nails and shit. There's definitely nails and shit. There's a boat anchor. What? Yeah, I'm like, a boat anchor! We're a long way from the ocean. I hear more military jets. Uh, I think it's just not water plane. Yeah, he's uh, going off the uh, stratosphere. Here's an old uh, classic motor bicycle. Yeah, this is on the Google. There, did you find the Wood Cove sign? I don't see the sign. I think it's uh, been shot up. Is what's this here? Careful, rusty. It's uh I can't make it out. You're upside down. Now you're backwards. <laughs> show, That's definitely military. Show in the low level. Forest, oh yeah. Where is he? We're right on the edge of the restricted, so we might get a freaking air show right here. We're literally like a mile away from it right here. Can't see him, he's probably low. Hauling ass. Hauling of the booty. All right, you hear that military jet? This is really close to the restricted area if you're gonna fly here. Be careful. Probably not really worth flying to, honestly. I mean, unless you got some stuff you wanted to put out in the desert. Yeah, we're gonna do a geocache. <laughs> so yeah, now we're gonna make it worth it. We're gonna, uh, yeah. Definitely uh, some play going on out there. This is a pretty cool spot though. I mean, have you taken a sec to look at the surroundings? It's pretty rad here. Yeah, these hills are stinking rad. Hey, uh, you fannies. Check out this sweet geocache hidden at the Wood Cove garbage pile <laughs> in the middle of uh, nowhere, Utah. This is actually where my dad and I used to dirt bike. It's quite cool, quite right open. Um, actually, I bet I know one person for sure, one fan who knows exactly where this is. Kevin Savas. Come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get your treats. Also, don't get it flat or anything. I'll be honest with you, it's probably not worth the drive. <laughs> but honestly, if you happen to be out here, feel free to take it, whatever. Let us know, that way we can post it on social media. Yeah, do an Instagram, we'll reshare it. Yeah, all right. Cool, speaking of Instagram, I'm gonna take a few Instagram photos. Thanks for watching. This has been Garbage in the Desert <laughs> with Jason and Corey. 
Yeah, and we put some cool things out for you to uh, come check out. Utah. Make, make the journey worthwhile. Yeah, people are weird. <laughs> people are weird. <laughs> oh, check out the bird. The birdhouse is kind of cool. I know. I did check that out. Let's. We gotta give the birdhouse about five seconds of B-roll time. Here we go. Oh, One, nice flip flops too. Two. What size is that? Three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. pretty fun going and seeing the weird desert stuff. <laughs> I don't know what possesses people that just kind of go out in the middle of nowhere and uh, wrecked wooden pillars. I mean, I think I read about the, the Wood Cove one. There was, there was that uh, refill tank, the drop tank that was just placed, and then the rest of it kind of sprung up around it. Yeah, so that drop tank's right on the edge of the restricted airspace. Um, in fact, I'm going to grab a quick little shot from my phone looking at my regular GPS. So, so we know where it. we were. Yeah, let me just uh, see if I can get it. We were right there. All right, so that's where we were, right on the edge of the restricted airspace. So it doesn't surprise me that there's like a giant uh, military drop tank from an airplane there. Yeah, well, and uh, I mean, comparing the two, I think it, I think it took some work to put the Jeep one together. Yeah, the Jeep one actually was really, I thought was really cool. I think it was quite well done, and I mean, you could see that there was effort put into it. Somebody had to bring out a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> right. But no, it was, it was cool. It was, I didn't think, I didn't know it was a war memorial. I just thought it was a, you know, Jeep, Jeep thing, like Jeep museum, like they say online. Well, a lot of guys that are active in the outdoors are military, former military, and they they like to honor their fallen friends, and I respect that. I think that's really cool. Yeah, so that's kind of fun. I One of the things I love doing is using my airplane to just go see stuff. And what better way to see stuff than weird stuff that people have done? <laughs> well, and talking about weird stuff, you want to do a callback to an earlier vid. When you and Mike and Mark and I think, uh, who else was down there? Anyway, you guys stopped at that hole in the wall bar and that lady kind of told you that really weird story yeah the wayside oasis wayside oasis yes. go ahead and click the link in the cards right now and we'll show you that video would we have found it without an airplane no i never i would have never in a million years visited that place <laughs> or any of the either of these two places without an airplane because i'm i don't have a jeep i don't have an off-road vehicle i this is my off-road vehicle so that's why i'm taking it to the cool spots that would be another cool thing to do videos about, is uh, go find those mail route arrows. I apparently lived maybe three miles from one. Never even knew about it. Didn't find out till I moved up here to Utah, and kind of bummed it. I could have just checked it out. Yeah, you guys want to see the really cool place I used to live? Mojave, California. Oh, in Mojave. <laughs> yeah. It's another place where they piled garbage around and then put addresses on it. <laughs> I'm going to catch some hate from that one, too. <laughs> you are. Lake Mojave. Was it Lake Mojave, California? Uh, no, just Mojave. <laughs> so we just have this mountain range that we're going over now, then the Stansberries. I don't know what this one's called. This is Greg. This is Greg? Greg, the mountain range. Hey, Greg. And then Stansbury, and then Oakers, and then we're home. Yay, home. So we got three ranges, including this one, to, uh, to conquer.
Well, Jason, it looks like it is a wildfire. So we've been looking at this little fire. Let me see if I can point the wing camera at it. We've been looking at it for about the last, I don't know, 12 miles or so when it first started. It looks like a controlled burn kind of got a little out of hand. It happens every once in a while. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. We'll, uh, man, I wish I had water. I'd dump <laughs> it on it. Just drop a little water bottle full. <laughs> Like if I was a dive bomber, but the flames are big. It's right here along uh, SR-201 Highway in Utah. We're out by the Garfield Stack is where we're at. I do not want to breathe this crap, so... We'll swing wide. Yeah, I'll swing to the left once we get a little closer. There's a whole bunch of fire trucks there on the ground. I see two anyway. Looks like they're just trying to contain it, but it does look like it hopped the road and is going up the hill, darn it. That's a shame. That sucks. There it is, right there. All right, there's about 500 feet, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up, start climbing a little bit. Those flames are big, though, bro. Wow. It was a fun trip. It was a blast. <laughs> We're back. Anyway, anything we need to say? Buy some merch. Yeah, check out our merch. Cool stuff. We're adding new designs every couple of weeks just because it's fun to do. And uh, make sure you check out the geocaches. Drop down in the comments below. Let us know if that's something you want us to do more of because we can start dropping stuff off at all these backcountry strips I visit. That might be kind of fun to engage with you guys if you have an airplane or you want to go on a nice hike and check out these uh, Awesome backcountry strips that I go to. So thanks for watching. Hey, if you find those geocaches, let us know. Yes, post on social media or send us an email. Uh, Jason's personal phone number wait, is... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Ah. Jason wants to go home.